Hello, it's Elena Strombo from SojaTutorials.com, Elena's main game name, and today I'm actually in Soul Town as Eleanor, and I'm doing expanding on one of my uh, videos for new players. Sorry, I'm going to get the, I have a light that went off here. Let me get that going. Ah, that much better. Puts a little bit of light on my face. Um, so in my last video, I actually just kind of showed the mechanics of traveling around the world, how to interact with the map, bring up the maps, go from one spot, and I actually did a journey from literally the west side of the world over to the east side. So I'm back here in uh, Soul Town. In the beginning area so um, what I want to do here is actually want to show why I'm over here and this is one of the features I really like and it's actually harder to find in the game than you could uh, than you would know so I'm gonna get let me tune down the audio just a little bit it's a little bit there all right so in Soul Town let me give myself a light here <clears throat> One of the good things about Soul Town, it actually has a, an archery trainer, but it's got these archery butts. These butts are actually training dummies in a sense. So you can sit here and double click it and literally... Now I've got my auto targeting on, so right now it's working on my bludgeon. Actually, I was just hit 49. It's almost going to hit 50 here. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the K key and bring up, or it's a left control K. I'm actually going to go to my blood sitting. I'm going to lock that one down. That's really good right now. I've got, I've gotten it past my beginning level. So what I want to do is I actually want to work on these a little bit so I can start opening up some more and get some more offensive stuff. So yeah, so if you come and target these, you can beat on these and it's like a practice dummy. Now the downside is that You'll be spending experience, but you won't be gaining anything because you won't be killing. But you can do a lot faster and not be dying on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I want to go find a trainer. I want to free up something else. Now, I've got it so I have my hot bar, my utility bar, and my combat bar. What I want to do is I want to be able to hit the letter T key and be able to do free attacks. Instead of me just standing here, I want to be able to do swings as I click the mouse. So I'm going to go try and find a trainer to do that. I think there's a combat trainer over here. Hmm. Ah, something like, yeah, it is the combat trainer. So I'm going to click on train or advanced techniques. This is the one. Um, back to include utility hotbar and free attack and deck building. You can mention utility hotbar near any trainer. So I want the free attack. Most event trainers can grant you the ability to use a free attack style of combat. Tell me yes. Yes. Cool. I got 200 gold and I received a helpful guide on the free attack. So what that means now, if I go into combat, if I hold down the mouse key, Oh, let me get out. I'm going to hit the letter T. Boy, my keys are really messed up. Okay, there it is. I haven't done that one off. So, uh, hit, uh, left control and the T key. I can hold down my, my button. And you see I got a little attack bar in the bottom there. That's for a more powerful hit. And then it just goes by. So, if I click a lot of times, just click, click. And it'll do that. But I can come through. Let me show you what this looks like from a uh, damage perspective on here. It's easy to see what this does. So I'm going to get close to this. I'm going to put my uh, auto attack on. Two, 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 two. So you see the damage. Miss, two, so three. So that's my damage. So I'm going to do this with holding down the mouse key and get a full attack. I missed. <laughs> we got to get a hit. <laughs> I'm missing the target dummy. Eight. So, uh, you know, two, two, two. I'm getting sixes and eights. You tell you get a lot more damage. It doesn't make a lot of difference in the beginning. Your, your mount is so low. But at, in the end, at the, once you get farther up in your skills, it does bring you on some good bonuses on that. So, um, it takes... No, there's a nine. I hope I can get a ten or a critical hit or something. Miss... Miss! Oh, give me a hit here. Oh man, I stink. <laughs> wow, I'm still just whiffing. Oh, look at me, I'm a loser. <laughs> nine, there's a nine. Okay, we'll sit with that one. 
So that's what the free attack, util the utility bar gives you your extra bar here. The free attack allows you to go in and out of um, combat mode. Um, I'm sorry, out of auto attacking or, or not. That's an important piece in there. So um, what else in here? Um, you can tell my little chat window here, I'm, it sees all this. I go to my normal chat so I can uh, blank out and go, um, uh, what's this? Right now, oh, people are waving to me. I'm gonna go to my normal, uh, just uh, guild chat, normal local chat or something. I should I'll go to local slash L. So let's put this back here. So let's take a look at my skills on here. Let me go back into combat. I'm gonna bring up my uh, skill tree. So I wanna work on these guys, crushing blow and break weapon. So once I get those to 40, then I can get these open up on here. Let's see what I've got in the fire tree. I've gotten 30 on my fire arrow. So eventually, ooh, I could open that one up. Yeah, I can go open this one up and I can get, once I get this one up to 40, I can go to here. And so let's do that. I'm gonna go open this one up. I'm gonna leave this one training. So let's go learn that skill. So I'm gonna go back over to the, um, the uh, combat training dude, the automaton. So you can see this one's blue, so I can click on it, hit learn, it's up and going. So I'm gonna put that one there so I can get gains on that if that comes up. So I'm gonna work on those. Um, I wanna get this one up to 50 as well. So once it gets up to 50, I'm gonna lock it just for some temporary time. And where are we at in bludgeon? We're there. Okay. So cool. Let's go train those. So I'll show you how to train them on here. Now you can go train, go adventuring. You're going to train them just like normal. But you can come in here and said target these dummies. So I can cast these spells on there. There goes my one. I'm going to use my mouse here. So it's a little bit easier. I don't care about Gust at this point. There they all start going. Now you can see, I'll put this up here. I'm at 39,464. And you see as I use them, they're going to start going down. The good thing is here right now, by doing this, now they've all went gray. Why did they go gray? Because my focus is done. So I am out of focus. So I'm going to turn on my auto attack to work on my uh, some of my other bludgeoning skills here. It's not going to raise this one, but it will raise this one here. So I'm already down to 38,000. So I've lost 2,000. So I can't stay here forever. Once I get a little bit of um, stuff back, I can do this. Now, if you need to run, you want to regenerate your focus a little bit quicker. I got up to level 17 there. I'm going to go out of combat mode. Once this bar goes down, I'll start regaining this a lot quicker. Come on. I don't know what this, uh, he's less, oh, Alpha, Alpha 9, Alpha 9. Um, PvP here. This is Mark PvP. That means that this character, if another PvP or came in, they could fight fight on there. Uh -huh. He's asked me if this is all character. Uh, yes, making a new player tutorial videos. He knows me. He knows the strongbow name. Just explaining why you are PvP. So. So anyways, so yeah, so he's a PvP air fighter out there. Um, and um, he knows he knows the Strongbow name, so he knows my main character. So that's why he's talking with me and asking me that stuff. But um, <laughs> just XP, huh? So if you're actually flagged as PvP so that you can't be attacked, there's a risk reward in that. But, ah, um, you can actually, when you're on adventure, you actually get a bonus on your experience gain if you're flagged as it because you're living a little bit more dangerously. So, 
Yep. So, yeah, so that's it, you know, that's, so I come out here, that's why I like Soul Town or Soul Bridge Outskirts, they do have practice something there, in there, the training bots here allow you to work on this, so if you don't have a home and have one yourself, um, then, you know, you can come out here and do this one, so, um, he's still chatting with me, so, yeah, it's a, it's a, I like the town, a lot of good areas, so I'm gonna hang out here and do a lot more of the videos in this area, I'll go back and catch up on the, uh, the quests that I have over at Aerie a little bit later, so, that was it. So if you get questions or comments, please throw them on the video. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Lena Strombo from SotoTutorials.com in as Eleanor. At the end, a video is going to pop up. Previous one in the series. Below that's a link to the SotoTutorials.com website. What I've been doing, what I will be doing. Picture me in the fairy wings. You can click on that and subscribe to the channel if you like the content you're seeing here. Also a video up in the upper right, which is a link to the Strombo Apartments. If you're looking for a place for rental um, in the game, uh, check out the video. I have some over there in Alshead. Thanks. Take care.